when I immigrated to, uh, to Canada, I thought that finding a perfect home, a new home, will be the goal. And that when I find that, then I'll be happy with it and, you know, everything will be great. But it didn't happen that way. I kind of discovered that some things I like about this new place, about my new home, and some things I missed from my old home. So the search continued. I love you. I was pushed to continue that search and to travel more and to discover more things that I, you know, can like in different places. So the traveling itself became a goal. I mean, the traveling itself gave me so much pleasure that, and, and also put me in a position where I can learn more, I can be a, a you know, eternal student forever, uh, and also exposed to other people. But, I mean, I, I was always dreaming of, of, of this, uh, traveling with my work and showing my work to, to people around the world. And I'm really content with that, you know, with that state of being in, in transition traveling, being on the move constantly. I think more and more artists are doing the same thing. We, we act as a nomadic tribe, <laughs> always pushed to another location. And it, it is a global trend in a sense. We want to find out about the world and not through just technical gadgets that we have ready, readily available, because this is something more visceral, more real. We, we want real experiences to be part of our lives. I was trained as a painter. Uh, I finished the Academy of Fine Arts in Belgrade, and uh, since then I worked in every medium possible. So I moved away from painting when I immigrated to Canada and started experimenting with other mediums. Uh, although I wasn't uh, educated in these other mediums, I, I enjoyed the fact that I don't know that much about them. It, that, kind of gives me a freedom to, to move freely in, uh, inside of the medium and use it in any way I, I see fit. I want my audience to be involved, like to have an experience of, of my work, not just to look at the work, but to become part of, part of that work. And, and also I'm, when I'm working, I, I kind of try to find a point where audience can enter into that story into that narrative that's something that is not only personal but also universal so that people can relate to to my story it's very important for me that people can get emotional uh, by experiencing my work that they can get touched like you know in a movie in a cinema like when you cry and you see something that touches you i i really strive for for that emotional response in my audiences the other crucial point is obviously my immigration, which happened in 88 from Yugoslavia, because I had to separate from my family, from my larger family, and moving with my young family to Canada. It was such a drastic cut for me. I mean, I, I always dreamt of leaving my country and living somewhere else in search of a better place to, to be living, but I didn't know what will happen, like how I feel about that when I actually move to another place. I didn't know what awaits me there. So I, um, faced all kinds of problems, you know, language was one of the, those, and you as an immigrant go through a phase which you try to adapt and assimilate and, and find your way in another country, in another um, cultural background. And these two countries are totally different, although they have some similarities. They are the way people communicate, the social interaction is different. So there's so many things I miss about my country, but there's so many things that are really good here that I enjoy and that offer me the opportunity to develop as a creative person. So the themes of home, displacement, exile, being uh, disconnected and separated from your core family, uh, those are the things that came into my work. Uh, out of necessity, I had to deal with these things in order to find my place and find meaning uh, in my existence in a, new, in a new country, in a new place. I have a big part of me that likes to play around with ideas, you know, likes to explore and, and I like traveling as a, as a constant. Uh, I was always dreaming about traveling with my work. I thought that I would be happiest just, you know, exhibiting my work in different places of the world and, and kind of interact with those new places and other places and people who live in those uh, places so that I can offer something back to them and, and, and also learn about that new environment. 
in the beginning of my practice, I was more focused on myself and my my own problems and and what I was experiencing as a as an individual. But um, more and more so, I'm kind of looking out, looking uh, you know outward, not not anymore inward. I, I'm more interested in the world as is and what happens in the world, politi political issues and social issues and you know religious issues. All these things are very interesting to me. How people react to how they interact relationships between people and and all of these dichotomies that exist there are very potent and interesting and I always learn something which is you know I always feel like I'm still in school learning all right sir.